My wheels look fucking sick. Yeah, but no one can see it. I can. Now. No, they just look normal to me. Do they, do they look like mine? Uh, they're not quite the same. But um, I'll show you. I'll send you a picture. Oh, thanks. Yeah. On Snapchat. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, you've got Stop a Snapchat it. there. Shit, no, I'm not Snapchat. I'll look at it. Yeah. I'll let it load. Let it fully load so it's nice and HD. What? <laughs> Is that a thing? Yeah. No. <laughs> Probably not. Anyway, so what are, we, what, are we, what are we talking about? Shit. About how I watched The Hobbit last night. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you watched The Hobbit last night for the first yeah. time. Yeah. And. Um, would you call thought, yourself? Would you call yourself a massive Lord of the Rings fan? Not a massive fan. I enjoy them quite a lot, but yeah, I wouldn't. But you, but like, you don't know who Elrond's sons are, for example. Uh, no. No. Okay. I enjoy That's watching fine. them. That's fine. They're good fun. I do, don't know. Do you like? Th do you like them for the meme factor? <laughs> to be fair, I haven't really got involved in the Lord of the Rings. Uh, it's not. Scene. It's not as big as as the Star Wars one. It's just because it's just not as meme worthy. Oh fuck's sake! No, it's pretty. Shit. Like it's a bit Body more. Man. It's it's better, isn't it? Like written and acted, so that's why it's not as mean worthy. Fucking hell, what the hell is that? What is that? <laughs> Close my windows. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Shit. Oh. Can I just about like recover? Festival going on. <laughs> Some, Some uh... kind of street festival down your cul-de-sac. Yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, I quite enjoy uh, the Middle Earth. Universe. It's a good one. Um, obviously, it is very deep and rich. Fuck, no. Shit. No. <laughs> Fuck. Um, but yeah, so I haven't seen The Hobbit, any of them yet. Well, I have now, I've seen the first one. Yeah. And obviously, did you, it made did you feel like it needed to be nearly three hours long? No, definitely not. That is one of my criticisms, which I. which. Is did you, did you, did you look? Did you look at the um, the two hundred page Hobbit book and you were like, you know what? This needs a, this needs a nearly three hour film. Just for, for the just, first for just third like of a third it. of it or whatever. Yeah. Oh fuck off. Um, anyway, so yeah, I've read the Hobbit, so I kind of like it was years ago, so I don't I didn't really pay much attention Sorry. to it. I must have been not as much as I did Lord of the Rings. Um, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I've read Lord of the Rings. Oh, fair enough. Nice. Um, but yeah, so straight away when I saw, because I was I was like, oh, I'll watch this before Alice finishes work, because I mean I've got two hours to kill, kind of thing. Because most films are uh, like two hours. Because you only assumed it'd be two hours long. Yeah, well, there or thereabouts, like, and I knew they were longer than usual, so I was like, oh, two hours. That's two hours is considered quite a long film. Most are about like I don't know, hundred minutes, kind of time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah, they're sort of sitting around like the one one forty sort of mark. Maybe, but maybe no. Sorry, yeah, like two hours, two twenty sort of thing. Yeah, that kind I mean, of. Star for a long Wars doesn't film. go over. Star Wars doesn't go over two and a half. I don't think. Yeah, but that's considered long, isn't it? Yeah, like I, it's it's kind of the length you don't really want to sit there. You like I, I don't want to sit for any longer than I currently am. Nice block. Anyway, so that's that was one of my major criticisms with Lord of the Rings as well I mean I know they're supposed to be long and I know the extended editions are much better in terms of oh yeah but uh, at the same time you have more book to go off yeah it's true like that's that's a factor that it's it's more worthy of a really long film because it is like an epic saga kind of thing hmm. um, but I just thought they it's dragged out like there's the bit when um, Bilbo is like contemplating killing Gollum. Yeah. And it's like, do you know what I mean? And like, it's like dragged out for like a good couple of minutes when it could I just. Th be. I think that, I think that's probably because that is like a solid like ten pages of the book. Yeah, right it there. probably is. But I mean, all you need to do is see him like bring the sword up, hesitate, and see like Gollum. I don't know, pity, pity Gollum or whatever, and then run off. Yeah. Like that would still bring across the same message, wouldn't it? As. Like I don't know the ten minutes or whatever it is, not quite ten minutes, but it is oh, ages. To I, to spend on I, it. Like I legit skipped through that bit. Like, <laughs> for fuck's sake. You looked at your watch, you're like, "Fucking Alice is gonna be home soon." Pretty much, yeah. Don't want to see her. Don't want to see her. Me watching this. Well, I was just like, this. 
I know that he's going to spare him. Like, yeah, that he was straight he, away. I know. I know that Gollum doesn't die, so exactly. we don't need this. And you can tell straight away that he's not going to do anything to him. He's going to think, it, "Oh shit, I'm going like to leave." It's like how how Anakin is in, is impervious in all of the Star Wars films because we know that yeah. he doesn't die. Yeah. Um, that's the thing with prequels, isn't it? Really, and the same mm. with Rogue One, or how you knew that all of them would die. I, don't, I didn't think. I didn't know that all of them were going to die. I didn't know if they'd have they'd have the the, the balls to sort of pull the trigger on all of them. Well, you know, a few did. of them could have survived. It's yeah, kind of what made it good, isn't it? Yeah. Um, because it was gritty. It's a nice gritty war film. Unlike the uh, The Hobbit, which is just super squeaky clean. Well, that's the thing. That was an like, I didn't like. The dwarves. I liked a couple of them, but I didn't like Thor and Oakenshield. I thought he was a bastard. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, he is like, I don't know this. I don't know, not a war hero, but do you know what I mean? Like with the pale orc thing. And yeah, yeah he's like brave. But like the bit at the end where they're on the burning tree. Like fucking leave it out. Just wait for the eagles. <laughs> Which like, you know it, coming. Yeah, exactly. And instead, instead he just thinks, oh, do you know what? I'm gonna go and face him on my own because I'm a real like badass. Like fuck off, mate. I like, I like the actor. I oh yeah, no, no he was like he was played really well. Uh, to be fair, I thought the casting like, all, was pretty spot. Yeah, exactly. But it's just the character. I didn't like the character of um, Thorin or whatever his name is. Did you, um, um, did you really like it when they called back to the, that better film? Um, you know, in I think I know the bit you're talking about when they go to Amon Top. I think that's what it's called. You know where Frodo gets stabbed by the by the wraith. Yeah. Yeah, and then for some reason the payload is just there, just chilling out. Yeah. Like they didn't need to add that. They didn't need to. Go it's to like a, fucking... it's like the throwback to be like, yeah. oh look, this it's is like, here. We're... It's like, oh look where we are. We remember yeah. this bit from that equally fuck better film. Equally better film. Equally better film. <laughs> yeah, it's equally better. It's it's better in every way. It's equal. Oh fuck. Oh, this. that was almost a sick play to lose, but anyway. Um. Well, I mean, you've got. The worst ones to look forward to. Uh, what else did I not like about it? The the giant rock mountains. I oh, actually I like I quite I liked it. That. I mean I it was that. it was out of place, but in terms of like cinematography, it was pretty cool. I thought. Um, yeah, no, I mean it, they look good. Yeah. The films. Some of the CGI is a bit iffy where Bobo is like small. Yeah. Um, there, was, there was a couple of other things where I did I really like. The bit when Gandalf sorry, sorry, fucking just, kills the Goblin King. Just um, just look who we're playing against. Trump. And the Senate. <laughs> sorry, yeah. You the, know the, the bit Goblin when King. Gandalf kills the Goblin King. Does he kill him? Uh, yeah. Does he, does he just like? The, well, the, the king, the Goblin King's about. like, uh, what are you gonna do next? And then yeah. Gandalf like jabs him in the eye and then slices him out. Oh. Slices his gut, and then the king, instead of like dying, he just says, "Oh, that'll about do it," or something like that. And like, fuck off, just die. Like that is not necessary. <laughs> like it just ruins the whole moment of it. Like What's it's Gandalf that? being epic and like taking down this huge goblin, and then it's just gone. It's like, oh. I like the bit about like when they find the swords when he finds Sting. Yeah. I like that bit. And um, what's he, oh, what's his sword called? It's like glamouring or something like that. Glamouring. Yeah, isn't it? That's Gandalf's Somewhere. one. I like. Th- I, um, I'm not really sure if I. You know the bit where they're like chilling in Rivendell and um, Cape Cape Blanchett's there and uh, Hugo Weaving's there. Yeah. I like that bit. That was alright. And uh, Chris- Christopher Lee was there as well. That's cool. Yeah. He must no, be that really bit was cool. That what I I also didn't like. This is another um, nice. part against Thorin's character is that Gandalf told them to like meet at this point and he's like sod it no we're going alone <laughs> we're cool like, like I know it's the stubbornness of dwarves and all that shit but just I, like I really hate that stereotype <laughs> I know like, like there's a difference between being stubborn and just lacking complete common sense and self preservation but oh, fuck yeah, but isn't, isn't that like part of, part, of, part of the point he kind of he doesn't necessarily want to die but he wants to Get back his mountain so much that he's willing to just, you know, hell marry it. Yeah, but if he Which wants to stupid. get back, if he would have a much better yeah, chance of getting it back if he just waited dwarf. for Gandalf. Because Gandalf was good. I did like Gandalf in that. He was, yeah, but at the same time, I felt bad for Ian McKellen because he's just standing in front of a green screen. Yeah, it's no, breaking I know. down. 
I, um, I remember that. Remember when that, that became news for a while. When that broke. When that broke. <laughs> when the that headlines news broke. broke. Yeah. Ian McKellen breaks down on set. No, it's kind of it's kind of news that you get on like podcasts, which I listen yeah, to. Yeah, or like magazines. I, and shit. I love a good movie podcast. Can't wait to finish that. I can't finish nice. it. Nice. It's really disappointing my dribble didn't go anywhere. Did you see it? No, where was it? Earlier. I oh. dribbled the whole length. But so I'll I watch it back got, and um. Just got out of control. And I'll and I'll text you later. I'll be like, oh, it's good trouble, good trouble, <laughs> good trouble. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna watch the second one. Um, I'm gonna watch it with Alice there. Now. Yeah, so you can bounce someone off. Well, so that's, I have someone to vent to. Yeah, that's the. I I can't watch bad films by myself. But I'd happily watch it with someone else. That's when you watch it with someone else. It's quite enjoyable because you can. Like, kind of recently, go, oh, it's so stupid kind of thing, or or you can like, pick apart the plot holes. The last couple of days, me and Harry have been going. We watched Spy Kids one, three, four. Oh yeah, you told me. God, fucking oh mate, I I remember three. Is it just being, you two at the house? Uh, no, everyone's here, but they're all sort of examy focused. Oh, I see. Was well, you finished yeah. now? Have you? I've finished. Yeah, I'm at the same. Yeah. Oh well, no, I think for the first two or three, it was just me and Harry. But anyway, we watched. I remember three being the best one. Because it's, it's you know it's the video game one. I never watched. I only watched the oh, first one. Mate. The first one's the worst one. Well, that's the only one I had on video back in the day. So. Uh, well, I mean, I, I can't talk to you about how bad they are then, but okay. The fourth one is worse. It's the worst one. Oh fuck! It's reversing. But it has got Jessica Alba in. Go on. Back here. Just. I don't know who that is. She's quite famous. I recognise the name, but I, don't know, I couldn't put a face to it. It's a good face. <laughs> one, one of the best. Is it now? Yeah, it is. It's also got um. Uh, the guy who played Scooby Doo in the live action Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean, the guy that voice acted Scooby Doo? No, no, in the in in the, in the live action Scooby Doo film, which don't tell me you haven't seen. Scooby Doo? What? Were they all actual people? Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. Scooby's not a person. Though. Sorry, not Shaggy. What are we talking about? Oh, I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's got Shaggy. Who um, well, it's got old Shaggy, because he's you know he's aged. Oh, nice. But at the same time, he looks a lot like Mark Hamill. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. The third one had Sylvester Stallone in. Oh, I haven't seen them. Watch, watch the third one. The third one's the best one. Yeah, but it's also got, it's, it's got that, Elijah Wood in. It's got Elijah Wood in for literally three seconds. Sure. Right, so, so I'll, I'll build it up for you a bit, right? Okay, so there's this, this video, it's like a VR want, video game. I want that more than anything else. Right, I hope you're paying attention. Yeah, I am. What, so it's in, a VR, what, to, my, the, to my story. The film is? Yeah, no, no, no. So, so you know they're, they're obviously spy kids. Yeah, the kids that are spies, yeah. Yeah, and um, Sylvester Stallone, aka the toy maker, wants to, he's made a video game and it's like totally immersive VR kind of thing. And this is like 2003, 2004. Yeah, so, so it's, it's like hilarious. futuristic. Yeah. So it's a video game and it's got like five levels and level five is supposed to be unbeatable. And the Sylvester Stallone's plan is to like enslave the kids of the world. Right. For whatever reason. <laughs> Not really, not really fleshed out that kind of storyline. Anyway, so um, so, uh, got her name. Carmen goes in. Carmen, oh classic. Yeah. Um, because uh, I don't know if you remember at the end of two. No. But Junie stops being a spy and becomes like a private investigator. Who's that? Who's Junie? The mum. The brother. You know, oh. Like, like gingy curly hair. Yeah. Yeah. So he becomes a PI. And um, he saves Selena Gomez's cat or something like that. Selena Gomez's cat. Yeah, but it's, it's young Selena Gomez. She's like twelve or something. And um, oh, oh bollocks! That bounced off. I wasn't expecting. That's right. Really right. Yeah. So he goes into the video game. Um, he gets to like level like three or whatever, and they're like these other players because they're like beta testers. Yeah. So they know all about it, and there's like a tech manual you can read or whatever. And there's like this whole like prophecy bullshit. Where, um, apparently there's a guy. There's there's a guy, literally called the guy, wow. who's supposed to be able to like stop the game or whatever. 
This sounds like, shit. Man. Complete the game. Yeah, but when they get to level five, Elijah Wood is the guy. He turns up and he dies immediately. Wow. Yeah. How great is that? Right. This this is off the back of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Probably thought it was gonna be his next big hit. And he turns up and he gets killed off after five. Oh, seconds. that's fucking tragic. What an awful film. Set of films.